Hello Libra, welcome to your daily inspo. Today we're going to start off with the affirmation and this week's affirmation is I am confident. Let's say that together four times. I am confident. I am confident. I am confident. I am confident. All right, Libra, how are you guys doing? I hope your weekend was great. I do have a download for you and it's short and sweet. And the download is follow your heart. A simple thing. I feel like somebody could have like two choices, two different options, lost, you can feel confused, you're looking for some type of guidance, looking for some type of answer, some clarity to make up your mind about something and you keep getting the message, follow your heart. And it seems like you keep on trying to sit and figure out what is your heart leading you to. I feel like there can be two very strong options, two very strong choices. Um, And I do feel like somebody could be having a hard time deciphering between the two. And yet, and still the answer to this would be to follow your heart. Listen to your heart. If you was 100% free, what choice would you choose? That's possibly (laughs) your heart because you're always free. If you were 100% free, what choice would you choose? Hmm. I do also feel like that there's a person who could be putting other people in their choices. You're not thinking about just solely you. It feels selfish when you just think about what you want. This could be a person who's used to putting other people, you know, doing things for other people. But there's a need for you to get weird because it's going to feel a little weird and... See, what is it that you want to do without anybody else? Something that's like a selfish, not selfish in like your intentions, but it's really up to you. Selfish choice. In the blessing bag today, we have, you have your person's attention. And you have their heart and a wish comes true. You have your person's attention. So what do you want to say to this person? Hello. What do you want to say to this person? Let's see. In the gypsy, we have the fish. This is riches coming in. This is the big fish. This could also be the big option. Um, some type of success coming your way. I feel like success with whatever person that you're trying to get attention, you're trying to get this person's attention, you got it. So I do feel like there could also be some something of value there. Hmm. You can get you something. There's somebody's attention who, like, you can actually get something out of having this person's attention, having this person look at you some perks here. I wonder who is this person? The fact that a person is looking at you is you're that much richer. Is it all it takes for a person? Somebody is being around like somebody is around some powerful people. Justice. Here are you. Here you are. Justice, look at you with the tower. Is this where you came from? This tower card, this this chaos, this destruction? The tumbling down of a false foundation? Did you just knock something down? And is that why another person is looking at you? Why somebody is looking at you? 
Somebody's looking at your integrity, your ability to remain fair and just. Your ability to receive justice. Somebody's either looking at you receive justice. Or somebody is looking at you in your ability to. Be just. Have integrity. Fair. Also your clear thinking. Your effective communication too. We have the world card with the three of swords. Someone's in the next stage of a breakup, healing, something like that. Somebody's in the next stage of healing. The next stage of a breakup, the next stage of, I feel like this is healing here. Going to the next stage. You do have the five of wands. Hmm. Five of wands with the tower. Going to this next stage. I feel like for some of you guys, you could have been in some type of conflict, some type of drama, lots of drama around you. You are going to this next stage where you will have some type of justice. Why do I feel like the drama could have been against you? The conflict could have definitely been against you. The gossip the lies, the rumors about you. And now you're in this area or you're in this place where you're getting justice because of some type of injustice that you've been through. All right, let's read. Let's pull... For the daily inspo for Libra today. What do we have coming through for Libra? All right, so there's a person that's observing you. Mm -hmm. You've been in a cycle with this person. Something's balanced. Something's equal. This could also give soulmates, yin-yang type of energy to be fair when it's coming up with whoever this person is. Um, this is a cycle where this person starts to observe. They start to watch you. So I wonder who this person could be. <coughs> Imagine someone is starting to watch you. Someone is observing you or not starting to watch you, but this is a cycle. This is something always happens. So there's a person who's who you have their attention right now. So I do feel like there is someone who around this time, they get a case of you. I don't know what a case of Libra <laughs> I don't, a bad case of Libra. I don't know what that is, but this person around this time, they start thinking about you heavy. It happens like clockwork. This happens like clockwork for you, Libra. And this could be some type of karma. This could be their karma for doing something. We don't know who this person is. It's, it's whoever it resonates for. It's going to be different for everybody who resonates. This is fair. They're always dreaming about you. This is beyond their control or why this person has your attention or why you have your person's attention is beyond their control. They start dreaming about you. They start, I don't know what's going on around this time, but this person starts to you start to really, the energy, your aura starts to like, I don't want to say infect this person, but it just infects this person. It's like, it's all about you. This could be a past lover. 
I am getting like an energy from like a past lover here. Look, loyal you heart. This always happens around this time. It happens like clockwork. Yeah, and this is your person. It's the truth. It's the truth. <laughs> it's like the the judgment card, the trumpets blowing. It's your angels, your ancestors or their angels, their higher self, letting them know truth be told. They have these types of feelings for you that a person is definitely in love with you. And this time around, this person starts to really, really think about you. It's cyclic. It happens like clockwork. This could be around the full moon. Every time around the full moon, this person, the moon was here. This person gets to thinking about you. Heavy. Let's see. What the, this fish. All right. This fish is bringing in a contract. Some type of commitment is bringing in some type of option for you. Doors, many doors, adjacent possibilities opening to you. So there's something that brings you lots of options. Something brings you lots of options here. This fish comes in with the contract. Um, there's something that you're going to have to think about. This may be that message, follow your heart. Because you may have to think about this type of contract. Many options here. You have a man holding their heart. They hold in a lot of things. They're thinking about a family. That could be happening. Maybe around this time, a person gets to thinking about family. And if they have a family and... They get to thinking about you. But you do have a man holding a heart. I do also feel like somebody holding some type of opportunity for you. We do have deceit too. Some of you guys are going to be getting some type of download about somebody deceiving you. This could be future or this could be past. Um, this download, you're going to need to know this. <clears throat> for some type of vision. You're going to need to know this. Because there's something that you could possibly be getting yourself caught up in. Or there's something that you could have possibly got yourself caught up in. So for some of you guys, you'll, you'll be getting clarity for something that happened in the past. For some of you guys, you'll be getting a warning for something that's about to happen in the future. It would just basically depend on how much you trust your intuition. Basically. It would depend on if you trust yourself This contract is coming in. It's big here. There's something that you have to think about. There's somebody who's also serious about telling you something, telling you how they feel. Caring connections. Yeah. You do have that. Relationships. Stuff like that. <laughs> Relationships. Where do I want to go now? I guess we'll go here to see what this justice is. <clears throat> we'll see what this justice is coming out.
Let's see. It's God's plan. Big picture thinking. <laughs> Visionary, inspired ideas. Something is God's plan. All paths lead to home. For this is God's plan for you to go on some type of new path. Justice Forge is a new path for you. And it's God's plan. There's a whole new way. Your life is about to take a new direction. And it's God's plan for you. And this is God's plan for you. That's the message. Your life is about to take a new direction. And this is God's plan for you. Look at that. Hopping right through the portal. Is that 2-2? Hopping right through this portal, doors are opening. So here, here again, these doors are opening here. You decide. You decide if you want to walk through the wild card. It's up to you to jump. I feel like something, this, this is just your season. You know how you can't help but have bad stuff happen? Can't help it. It's just, this is what it is. This is what's happening right now. You're not going to be able to help this justice coming into your life. It is what it is. This is just what's happening right now. This is how the things turn. It's justice o'clock for Libra. It's like, you know, it is what it is. You can't help it. This is the, the direction that your life is going on. Breath of the cosmos, child of the cosmos. Look at that. So this is kind of giving me the breath, breathing life into you. Things are about to, you are a part of a team of souls. Yeah, things are changing on a, on a dynamic level. A huge level. This is a, this is an extreme. This is a extreme. I feel like we're going to be talking about more about this extreme. This is an extreme. You know, you have extreme lows or extreme devastation. This is extreme justice. Think about your justice, but extreme. What would that look like? Do you even know? Have you even visualized that? What does your dress, justice look like? Extreme. In the extreme. What does that look like for you? What does that mean for you? Let's see. What's the last card? The last card is the Will and Okra Elders. Share your song, frequency, deep diving. Activation. This justice is activating you for something. Something, something in you. For some of you guys, you may feel this over the next couple of days. But there's something new in you that's coming alive. It's in a transition period of coming alive, of taking its first breath. It's already getting breathed into. Now it's up to that thing to take its first breath. Life has been breathed into it. Now that thing is about to take its first life. I mean, to take its first, first breath. Come to life. Something is coming to life inside of you. It's almost like if like God were to be like rise or speak or come out. Like something is coming to life um, inside of you. You may feel different within the next couple of days. But this is really, really big. This is extreme justice. And your life is going in a, a whole new direction. And this is God's plan for you, Libra. All right. So this is the Daily Inspo. I hope this reading resonates. If it does. Make sure you give this reading a big thumbs up and make sure you guys are subscribed. I love you guys and I will see you in the next video.